it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today we are going to hit a slow strength full body workout. So I have two 10 pound dumbbells. This is about a medium sized weight for me. Maybe mediums are fives or eights or maybe it's 15. So whatever your medium pound dumbbell is, grab those guys. So we're going to do a three minute warm up and then we have blocks today. It is full body but I broke it down to where it's like all biceps, all shoulders, all chest with legs sprinkled in. So we're really going to burn out the upper body. We'll get some legs and abs as well. So the warm-up is going to be no equipment. We're going to get right into it. So I'm going to have you come into a downward facing dog. Start your Fitbit if you haven't yet. This will probably be about 50-55 minutes. Fingers spread wide. Feet about hips distance. Angle your hips up. Send your chest back. And then reach that right leg up and back behind you towards the ceiling. Come into plank. Pull the right knee to the chest. And then send it across the body to the left underneath the left arm. Pull the right knee in, send your hips back down dog, reach that right leg up. Pull the knee into the chest, reach it across the body to the left. Pull it in, use your abs, and then stretch it up. Open up through those inner thighs and hamstrings. Let's do one more on this side. Plank, across the body, pull the knee in, reach it up. Then step your right foot down, let's switch it up. Sweep that left leg to the ceiling. Oh, that feels good on the legs. Slide into plank, pull the left knee to the chest. Abs are tight. Kick it underneath the right arm, pull it in, reach it up. Three more, just getting everything nice and warm. Push the floor away from you and lift those abs. In and up. Good, shift forward, plank. Kick underneath the right arm, try not to touch the floor. Reach it up and back, last one. Knee towards the chest, plank. Kick it across the body. Knee towards the chest, reach it up. And then plant the feet down, walk your feet to your hands. Stand it on up. Okay, arms in a goal pose shape. Legs are about hips distance apart. Shoulders down a deadlift, no weights. We're gonna hinge forward. Micro bend in the knee. You're gonna stop with your head in line with your hips. Reach your arms overhead, keep them high. Pull the elbows all the way in, squeeze those lats, then squeeze your glutes, coming back up. So we hinge forward, back is flat. Reach the arms long, try not to let them drop below the height of your head. Then pull your shoulders down to draw your elbows back in. Squeeze your tush and stand up. Good, couple more. We're waking up the back of the body here. Make sure when you hinge forward in your deadlifts that you don't round out your spine or let your head drop towards the ground. So the back of your head should line up with the back of the body. That might mean that you have to pull your chin into your throat. Squeeze it up, give me one more. Hinge forward, find length from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Reach long through those arms, pull the elbows in, rib cage closed, squeeze the back, squeeze the glutes, and bring it up. Okay, bring it to the left side of the mat. Last move, legs together. This right knee makes a big circle. Step it open about two feet wide. Drop down, give me a squat. Squeeze it up, step the feet together one more. Right knee circles wide. Drop the hips, squeeze the glutes, step it together, let's reverse it. Left knee, big circle, open to the left. Plant the foot, drop your hips down. Squeeze up, step it together. Big circle, step it open, drop it down. Squeeze up, step it together. We got one more each way, or it's really two more each way, <laughs> but one time of it. Squeeze up, step it in. Big circle, drop it down. Make sure those hips are going back in your squats. If the knees are going forward, I need you to watch out. We want to be careful of that knee joint. So you should still see your toes as you drop down into that squat. Last one, big circle. Open it up to the left. Hips go back. Squeeze it up. Step together. Okay, guys, are you ready? Our first block is biceps with a little bit of everything else. So grab your weights for me. Each move is going to be one minute. Our first move is a squat with a bicep curl at the bottom. So feet are hips distance, toes parallel, wrists face in. Send your hips back, drop down into your squat. Turn your wrists forward, curl the weights up. Slowly release the weight down, wrists pivots in. Squeeze up through your glutes and stand. Inhale, hips back. Wrists turn forward, curl the weights to the shoulders. Slowly lengthen the arms. Turn the wrists back in and stand up. So, the fun part of this is that since we're doing that bicep curl at the bottom, it's a lot of leg work, a lot of isometric 
holding. Really, really, try to drop down into it. Curl, stretch slowly, and squeeze up. Good, from the side, watch those knees like we talked about. Butt goes back. Curl, slow on the release and squeeze it up. Good, you got about 20 seconds left. Now one big thing to pay attention to when we're lifting weights is that there's no momentum. So, I'll show you what not to do. We just drop into it, swing the weights up, stand it back up. There's a lot of excess energy moving around there, so really slow it down, work through the tension, work through those muscles. Last one, we stand it up. Okay, pin the upper arms in, we got a cross body curl. Opposite wrist to the front of the opposite shoulder. Nice, slow, and controlled. Try not to let your shoulders rise up, or the front of your shoulders round in. Find that posture, lift up through the crown of the head like you're wearing a pointy party hat that we all wore when we went to Chuck E. Cheese when we were like five. Yeah, channel that energy right here. <laughs> Good. Awesome job. You guys are already crushing it. We've got 30 seconds, and then you'll meet your last move on this side. Keep that chin off your chest. Hold yourself proud like, the, like how you want to present yourself in the world. Good. Here we go. Let's crush it for four, three, two more, two, last one. Okay, you're gonna take this down to kneeling. We're coming into a proposal stance. Keep just one weight. Let's be kneeling on our left knee. Take that right foot out in front of you. Place the weight in the right hand. Concentration curl. Pin your elbow into your right inner thigh. We're gonna curl the weight up and down. We got one minute each arm. Now this is the one that's gonna really burn those biceps out. That's kind of the goal. Now our abs are in. We're in a little bit of an unstable position, so it could feel shaky. I want you to try to stabilize by using those abs. Now make sure you get that wrist all the way to the shoulder at the top. Curl up, control down. Squeeze, slow release. Looking good, guys. Round one is almost in the books. Should be feeling pretty good. Go ahead, give me five, four, three, two, one, switching it up, weight goes to the left hand, we're kneeling on the right knee, left foot comes forward, pin that upper arm in, curl, slow release. Okay, last minute here. When you're working these muscles, biceps are what we're focusing on right now, I want you to squeeze your bicep. So don't just move the weight up and down, use your muscle. When you look at your bicep, flex it, like you're trying to show off those guns that you've worked so hard for. Good, remember our pace today is slow and controlled, so there's no rush. It's not about getting a ton of reps, it's about taking a lot of time with the movement so we stay in that working zone, we stay in the tension. Good, you got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna hit it again. Good, you have five. Last three. Two and one. Grab your weights, come up to standing. We've got our squat bicep curl. So feet are hips distance and parallel. Shoulders are on the back. Drop your hips down and back, pause at the bottom. Rotate the wrist forward, bicep curl. Slow it down, wrists in, squeeze up through those glutes. Good, hips go down and back. Make sure that chest stays open as you pull the weights up. If you're having to lift your shoulders up to get the weight up, it might mean that the weights are a little bit too heavy for this move for you. So if you have lighter weights, I'd probably drop down there. If it's easy, go slower, and it'll shock you that it's actually a lot harder to slow this movement down. Good, another way to advance this is to get that squat deeper. So really try to drop your butt, break parallel, hips below those knees. Okay, we got one more right here. Drop it down, curl it up, control it down, 
Squeeze it up. We got cross body curls. Opposite wrist to shoulder. Good, just those biceps are working here. Main thing I'm looking for is that we talked about momentum. There's no throwing of the weight. So think about everything else in your body except your arms being completely still, especially that torso. If that torso is moving around, then your biceps aren't doing as much work. You're using the rest of the body to help you. Woo! Good job. Okay, 20 seconds. We take it to the ground for those concentration curls. Good, in 10. Last two. To the left and to the right. Okay, bring it down. We'll keep the weight in the right hand. Step that right foot forward. Pin your elbow into the inner thigh. Curl, resist. Now really apply pressure. Elbow pressing out, inner leg pushing in. That's gonna help us stabilize this arm and get a little bit more work. Starting to feel it? <laughs> Getting a little sweaty? Okay. Now make sure that wrist comes all the way up to the shoulder, not here, all the way up. Imagine you're trying to pop a ball between your bicep and your forearm. Good, working that grip strength as well. So that whole hand is grabbing the weight. Make sure you don't have a pointer finger or pinky finger extended, unless you have some kind of finger injury, of course. Good, 10 seconds. And we have five. Four, three, two, one. Swap it out. Okay, left foot coming forward. Tried to do that gracefully. Pin that left elbow in, curl it up and down. How's that heart rate looking? Oh, it's beautiful. It's already in that fat burning zone. Remember, slow, controlled. Get that wrist all the way to the front of the shoulder. You guys ready for your last four minutes of biceps? They're, pump they're coming up. This is the round that you're gonna be like, what? Okay, halfway, 30 seconds right here on this arm. I can't even imagine what the third round of concentration curls is gonna feel like, but we're about to find out, aren't we? <sighs> Starting to get drippy, but it's quite humid here today, which is kind of surprising for Los Angeles. Last 10 seconds. <sighs> Good, you have five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, grab your weights. Squat to bicep curl. Here we go. Send it down and back. Stay low, curl. Slow release, turn the wrist in. Squeeze up through those glutes. Drop it down. Last time of this move today, so I need your best form and alignment. Hips low. Chest is open. Notice how when I curl those weights up that I don't let my chest concave. I keep it nice and expanded. Those upper back muscles are pulled together here. Breathe in, breathe out. Make sure you fire those glutes at the top. We're finishing here in 15. Can you get a little lower? It's the last time. I think you can. Okay, last one. We're down, we curl, we lengthen, squeeze it up across body. Right wrist, left shoulder, left wrist, right shoulder. Yeah, third round feels way different than the first round. So if the weights start to get too heavy, you can always adjust. Good, find that space in the neck. And remember, we're stabilizing the rest of the body. So lift the weight without moving the rest of yourself. <laughs> Woo! I think our arms are gonna be toasted after this workout. Okay, 20 seconds. We hit those concentration curls. Good, in 10. Feel the sweat just trickling down my back. That's a good sign. Last two, and final one. Okay, bring it to the mat. 
proposal stance, right foot forward, right elbow pin, curl it up, control it down. It's your last time. I want you to put your mind in this right bicep. Think it, squeeze it, own it, love it. Get it to pop. Not, not really, just like, you know, pop out. Don't let the bicep actually pop. That would be not, not good news. <laughs> Woo! Okay, 30 seconds on this arm. Let's let it burn out. We're gonna pick the pace up. Here we go, 30. Now, even though we picked the pace up, still keep good form. Try not to move the body. 20. We got it. Here we go, 10. Eight. Woo, getting hard. Here we go, final five, four, three, two, give me one more, one, okay. Take it on over, right into it. Pin that left elbow. We're going slow, 30. So take your time, just like we have. Then we'll burn it out. Wrist all the way up. Woo, shake out that other arm. Okay, ready to pick it up? Here we go, 30 seconds, let's crush it. Try to make sure your leg and your upper arm don't move. Breathe out, keep those upper traps down, 20. You guys ready to hit the back? Cause it's coming up in 10. You got it, we have five, four, three more, three, two, give me one more, and one. Woo, shake it out, awesome. Biceps are done. So, we're gonna come into our back body. Hamstring and a narrow row. So we're gonna have a donkey kick on the left leg, weight goes behind the back of the left knee, and then the right hand will have the other weight. The left hand underneath the shoulder. So let's take it slow to start. I do not want your back to move at all. So abs in. We're gonna take that right elbow and left leg. They're both gonna lift up. The right elbow is narrow, the left leg is in line with the hip, and then we slowly take it back down. Now as you do this, make sure the middle of the back does not move. You guys ready? Here we go. We got a narrow row and a donkey kick, and then slowly bring it back down. Try to hold at the top. Find that engagement of your hamstring and your right shoulder blade. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Looking good, guys. Low back is stable, so you want to imagine you have a fishbowl on your back. Don't let your goldfish fall out, that would be sad. Halfway, 30 seconds, and we go right into the other side. Good, remember, hold it at the top. Squeeze the left glute, the right shoulder blade, and slowly release to the mat. Pull it up, control it down. Draw it up. Slow down, last one. Pull it up, squeeze, and slow it down. So swap it out, weight behind the back of the right knee, and then weight in the left hand. Narrow row on the left, donkey kick on the right. Flex your right heel, draw it in, plant your right hand, here we go. Left wrist faces in, pull the elbow up, and lift that right leg to hip height, and then tap everything back down. But make sure your head is not hanging here. Hold yourself, use the strength of your body. Remember, pause, one, two at the top. That's the work, not to bring it back down. Okay, 40 seconds. Good, rib cage, belly, in and up. Really try to keep that left elbow narrow and squeeze that right glute. You guys are crushing it. Final 10. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, alternating rear flies in a plank. 
So your arm will make this kind of shape as you pull the weight out to the side rather than a row. Okay, if the weights bother your hands, you'll set them down in between sets. Hands are planted in a plank, toes tucked. Take the feet wide, reach out through your chest, grab the right weight with the right hand, round the elbow, lift it up, rear fly, set it down, and switch hands. Left hand grabs the weight, rear fly, set it down. You can modify by being on your knees, but we're trying to activate those abs. Keep your butt down, no downward dogs here, and your hips squared to the floor. You got 20 seconds on the clock, and then we're on our feet. Good, whatever hand lifts the weight up, that leg needs more weight. So if my right hand lifts the weight, I need to keep my right hip, right foot heavy and down. Last one, take it down, stand it up. Okay, wide row with a deadlift. Grab your weights, feet or hips distance, micro bend in the knee, wrists face you. We're gonna hinge forward, coming down to your low back, upper back line up, pull the elbows wide, reach them down to the floor, squeeze your butt, come up from the side. Hinge forward, micro bend in the knee. Pull the elbows up, squeeze your back. Slowly take them to the floor, squeeze your tush, stand up. Hinge forward, flat back. Elbows pull up and wide, slowly return, and slowly squeeze. You got it, now try to get those elbows to have a little hang time at the top. So you've got that extra engagement. Okay, we are here 10 seconds, then we're back to the mat. Last five, four, three, two, one. Okay, narrow row donkey kick. Right hand has the weight, place the other weight behind the back of the left knee. Left hand underneath the shoulder, we've got one minute right here. Clamp the weight, draw your heel to your butt, lift your abs. Right wrist, right elbow, pull up. Left foot stamps towards the ceiling. Slowly take it down. Good, exhale, draw it up. Inhale, take it down, that's it. Take your time, hold that elbow high and narrow and try to keep your left knee pointing to the wall behind you rather than towards the left wall. So you want the knee to track in line with the hip. Okay, halfway. And we go right in to side two. Now focus on the stability of your back. That's probably number one thing here to not get injured or hurt your back. If you feel like your pelvis is rocking back and forth, then don't lift your leg up so high. You've got to, got to, got to be careful with this one. Last one right here. And slowly take it down, okay? Weight to the left hand, other weight to the back of the right knee. Okay, narrow row with a donkey kick. Here we go, right into it, one minute. Flex your right foot. Stamp the foot on the ceiling. Keep your left arm super close to the body and wide in the front of that left collarbone. Make sure the shoulder is not rounding to the mat. Good, look slightly out in front of you so that we're not letting our cervical spine just hang out. Make sure it's working for us. 25 seconds. I am dripping. That's a good thing. Good, you're here. 15. Feel right glute, left shoulder blade. Last one. And take it down. Okay, rear flies in the plank. So, I'll angle a little bit so you can see it. Hands are underneath the shoulders, feet are wide for stability. Okay, alternating sides, abs and right hand grabs the weight. Row it out to the side, plant it down. Left hand, rear fly, 
Plan it down. Here we go. 45 seconds. Now, when you bring the arm wide to the side, try not to turn your hips into it. That's the work of the core. The hips angling to the mat. Good. Upper traps. Draw off your neck. Stay strong. We have 30 seconds here, guys. I know this is a hard move, but we got to challenge ourselves. That's how we get stronger. You're on your feet in 20. Smooth that breath out. Give me 10. Keep it up. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're on our feet. Deadlift, wide row. Okay, feet hips distance, shoulders on the back, wrists face you. Hinge forward, back in line with butt. Wide elbows, reach it down, squeeze up through those glutes, nice and slow. I want you to engage your pelvic floor when you come up to standing. So that muscle you use to keep yourself from going in your pants, that's really going to help us find the core, which is important, especially when we're right here in this bent over position, and protect our low back. Good job, good job. 30 seconds on the clock. Last round coming up. Okay, when I pull my elbows back, we've talked about this a lot today, I'm not thrusting my chest forward and sticking my butt up like that. That would be a no bueno for the back. So long, neutral spine. Okay, last one here. Now we're straight back to the floor. Wide row, control it down, squeeze it up. Meet me on the mat. Coming down, narrow row on the right hand, left leg donkey kick. So weight behind the left hamstring, left hand underneath the shoulder, right elbow narrow row. Here we go, clamp that weight, don't let it move. Last round, back and hamstrings. Draw it up, pause, squeeze your heel in close to your low back, take it down. The tighter you clamp that weight, the more we're gonna contract the back of the leg. So you're already doing it, might as well do it properly. We're on 50 seconds. Exhale as you bring it up. Lift the belly. Inhale, control it down. This is so good for your posture. I love working the back. <sighs> Halfway, guys. <sighs> when you bring the arm and leg back down, I don't want to hear any sound. The weight shouldn't crash into the floor. Control it to place it. <sighs> Big squeeze in that left glute at the top for 10. Final five, give me one more. Four, three, two, one. Straight into the other side. So now right hamstring curl. Put the weight behind the right knee. Left hand has the opposite dumbbell. We go donkey kick on the right, narrow row on the left, and control it down. Good, squeeze to lift, control to lower. Make sure the front of the pelvis is pulling up towards the front of the ribs so that we don't over arch that lumbar spine. <sighs> Halfway, woo! Think about that right glute, pull that right heel in close to your right sits bone. <sighs> we got a big move coming up. I know this one's challenging. We're there in 10. Good, final one here. Inhale at the bottom. Narrow row, donkey kick. Squeeze, take it down. Okay, we're into our reverse flies in a plank. Feet wide, 
Hands on the mat, alternating sides. Here we go. The wrist should face the floor as you lift the weight. The elbow should not bend a lot. So it's a pretty long lever, right? It is not a row. We'll do the row for our next move. Okay, 30 seconds. Then you're back to your feet for our last round of back, or last exercise of back. Before we move on to those shoulders, you're here 12. Zip that navel in, don't let it hang out. For 10. One more each side. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab the weight, stand up. No downtime. Feet hips distance, wrists in. Hinge forward. Pause at the bottom. Expand that collarbone as you pull those elbows up. Squeeze those glutes. Hinge, row, slow release. Squeeze up through the back body. Lots of length here. You guys feeling lit? I am for sure. Duh, ripping. Okay, final 20 seconds. Hinge, row, release. Squeeze to standing. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, how you feeling? Ready to rock the shoulders? We've got a sumo squat with an upright row. So chest stays up this time, wrists face you. Chest is open, bend the knees wide. Squeeze up through the glutes and pull the elbows up at the same time. Now the shoulders have not lifted. They're actively pressing down. Reach the weights down, bend the knees. Draw the weights up, squeeze the glutes. Inhale down. Exhale up. Now, it's not this, right? You are controlling the weights going back down. Not letting gravity force them towards the floor. You'll burn way more calories and you'll get way stronger by, by working the reverse action just as much as, as the contraction. <sighs> good work, good work. 10 seconds for 10. For five, four, three, two, one. I just have to wipe the sweat out of my eyes. Okay, we are going into an Arnold press. So, elbows come up in line with the shoulders, wrists face you, bend your knees. Single, single, double. So first the right arm, wrist pivots forward, bend the elbow, bring it back in line with shoulder, then the left arm, wrist pivot forward, then the elbow, then both. Okay, right, left, both. Here we go. Single, single, double. Now make sure when you press that weight up overhead, you straighten your arm. So this doesn't count. Extend the arm. Also, make sure, I'll show you, not to lift by leading with your shoulder. The shoulder is actually pulling down to do this movement. We're here 10. For five, four, three, last one, two, and one. Take it down. Okay, cross body with a calf raise. Front raises, so shoulders down. The right arm goes across the body. Left arm goes across the body, then a calf raise. Heels come down. Now, we're lifting just to chest height. We also are controlling the way down, right? So it's not uh, just a flop like this. That's not gonna really get your arms strong. It's just simply throwing things around. Okay, brace your core. This one's definitely harder. You can always drop down to just one weight and do a front ways with one hand on each side of the weight. We'll see if I make it through or if I have to do that. <laughs> Last one right here. You've met your shoulder moves. Let's take it to that sumo squat. Toes and knees turn out, wrists in. Sumo with a upright row. Breathe in, chest doesn't lean forward, pull that chest back. 
squeeze up, pull the weights to the collarbone, elbows lift, shoulders down. Slowly take it down. Squeeze up through those glutes, lift through those elbows. Slowly return. Good work. Exhale up. Inhale down. 30 seconds to go. Now make sure that back is upright. This actually works the core a lot by keeping your back up. You're using your abdominal strength to help support the back. This is what we definitely don't want. If you do have a little bit of back pain, you could hinge forward a little bit, but make sure your back is straight like this and not hunched. Okay, let's finish it. 15 seconds. In eight. In five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. We're going double, so two right, two left, two both. Arms up to the right for two. Pivot through the wrist. To the left for two. Both for two. Now as I'm doing this, to get the weight up, I'm not using my legs and I'm not moving my spine. Good, lots of core here. So I'm just showing you from the side how I'm not moving my back. Woo! Good. Two, two, and two. Two left. Two center. Last one. And control those arms down. Okay, cross body, front raises with a calf raise. Keep a little bend in the elbow as you bring the arm across the body. And then lift the heels and lower. Good, spread open that chest. <sighs> Guys, shoulders just kind of cruised, right? This went fast. I was like, did I miss an exercise? But no, I didn't. We're already onto our last round coming up. Okay, you got 30 seconds. We take it to that sumo with the high pull. <sighs> okay, 20 seconds. How you feeling? Should be feeling freaking awesome. Those endorphins are flowing. Last one. Right into our calf raise and take it open to a sumo. Toes turn out slightly, feet are two feet apart, wrists in. Drop down low. Squeeze up through those glutes, pull the weights to the collarbone. Okay, one minute. Let's take our time. Slow, enjoy it. This is the last time you get to do this move today. Aren't you sad about that? I am a little bit. <laughs> breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> Good. Make sure those knees aren't ducking forward. Push them open. Activate those outer hips. <sighs> 20 seconds. <sighs> Good. Stay strong if it's getting hard. This is where you reconnect with why you started. Refresh that. What was the goal? What got you to hit play right now? What you got you to start? What got you to wake up early? We need that when we're getting near the end. Okay, last one. Back to the Arnold press. Threes. Set those shoulders down. Elbows in line with shoulders. We go three right, three left, three center. Chin off the chest, gaze up. Just above eye level. 40 seconds. This one's hard. Listen to that breath, you're halfway. Don't sacrifice form. Do what you need to do to maintain good alignment. Three center for three, two, one, three right, three, two, one, three left. We're finishing this round. Three center to finish. We have three, two, 
one. Woo, that was hard. Okay, crossbody front raises with a calf raise. Good, feel the whole ball of the foot down on the floor. Try not to roll to the right or left of the foot. Whole foot evenly planted. Remember, if this is getting hard and you only have heavier weights, front raise, that'll make it half the amount of weight. That's the modification. Let's finish it. 25, and we move to tries. Good work. I'm gonna let you shake your hands out in 15 seconds, and we're on to the back of those arms in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, weights down. If you need water, get water. Heart is just below my cardio zone. I'm high up in fat burn. I love it for these slow strength training days. Are you ready to go for some triceps? First round, we're gonna use just one weight for this first move. So move the other one out of the way. A lunge with a tricep extension. So look at just the arms first. One hand on each side, elbows are narrow. You're gonna bend the weight to the middle of the back, reach the weight up. What I don't want is this. See how my elbows are out? They need to come in. I also don't want this, so find space in your neck. Okay, let's go. One minute here, left foot forward. Right toes tucked behind you, we're in a lunge. Weight is up overhead. Elbows turn forward. You're gonna bend the weight to your mid back as you go down into your lunge. Then as you stand up, reach the weight to the ceiling. Breathe in, take it down. Breathe out, take it up. Now that front knee should not go forward. Knee stacks over the ankle. Good, open that chest up. Keep your gaze lifted. Nice work. Now the front foot should have more weight in it. Working into that left glute. Breathe in, breathe out. Awesome job. How are we on time? Okay, 20 seconds. Try to get that right knee to the mat for me. Awesome work, give me five, four, three, two, one. Okay, grab both weights. We'll do the right leg on the second round. We're going into a narrow row with a lat pullback. Feet hips distance, hinge forward. Each move is separate, so don't rush them. Abs and elbows pull back and together. Squeeze your back. Reach them down nice and slow now, straight arms. Chop back, squeeze your back. We're on. Narrow row, pause. Slowly reach it down. Lat pull back, pause. Good, now notice, kind of we've been talking about this the whole time, the back is not going up and down. It's not changing in shape. It's just staying still and stagnant. It is bracing for the movement. Keep your feet grounded into the earth and length in that neck. Awesome job, guys. From the front, open that chest up. Pause, squeeze, reach it to the floor, pull it back. Give me one more narrow row. Reach it down, chop it back. Good, stand it up. We got tricep kickbacks, just classic tricep kickbacks. What I want, hinge halfway forward. Get your elbows up and high. Reach it back, squeeze the back of the arm. I do not want this. These elbows are way too low. I also don't want this. That's a swing, not a lift, and we are lifting weights. Okay, 40 seconds. Woo, that upper back is chatting. <laughs> yep, make sure your elbows stay glued in. Upper arm doesn't go down to lift the weight up. Keep it up, 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 up. 15. Good, you're here. 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, just one weight. 
overhead extension with the right lunge this time. Arms up, elbows narrow, right foot forward, left toes tucked behind you. Bend the weight to your back as you lunge down. Reach the weight up as you stand up. Inhale, exhale. Move with the breath, 40 seconds on the clock. Good, take your time, no rush. It's not a cardio day, it's a getting strong day. Halfway. Good work guys, we have 20 seconds. 15. 10, 8, 5, 4, last one, 3, 2, 1. Okay, both weights, we have that narrow row with that lat pullback. Okay, we're hinging forward. If you can, I want you to go lower this time. So back in line with butt. Pull the elbows up, squeeze. Slowly reach to the floor, pull them back. Good, straight arms, then bent arms. That chest is open. If this bothers your back, you're here. You're not quite so low. More advanced, I need you to get down here. 25. 20. Good, take that time. I know it's tempting to rush when it gets hard. I'm feeling it. 10. One more of each. Whoa! Triceps. Okay, we're only hinging halfway forward here. Elbows up, kick back, squeeze the back of the arm, release. If you need to modify, alternate right, left. Okay? Especially if you don't have lighter weights. Open that chest up. I want you to make sure you're not here. Look at yourself in the mirror, find good form. Here, we're on for 40. Elbows high, 30. 20 seconds. Good, keep it up guys, 20 seconds. Let's lift those elbows up a little bit higher for 10. Squeeze on the length for five, three, and one. Okay, set the weights down. Take an arm shake. You guys ready to crush your last round of triceps? Okay, we're taking out the lunge, but we're gonna go both weights for those overhead extensions. Push the weights into each other. Elbows narrow. You're gonna bend the elbows behind your back, then reach the weights to the sky. Narrow elbows. Reach up, find space in the shoulders. If you're not here, relax your neck. Take your time. Pin the rib cage into the body. I don't want you to quit. If you can't get the weights up, you simply drop down to one or go a little lighter. 20. Let's find that focus when it gets tough. Listen to your breath. 10. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Okay, last one. Narrow row with that lat pullback. You can hinge forward. Let's get there now. Narrow row. Reach it down. Straight arms. Pull back. Narrow row. Straight arms, pull back. Now when I'm doing that lat pull back, it's my shoulder blades, my lats, so those upper and mid back muscles, pulling the weights back behind me. <sighs> Halfway. You're 90 seconds away from the floor. I didn't want to tell you until we got that close, but that sounds awesome right about now. A little reward, but we're still working. We got another round. We're moving into chest. Last one of these, narrow row. Reach it back. 
Okay, sit up, reset those shoulders, tricep kickbacks, one minute, hinge forward, elbows back, you can alternate, you can do both. Let's do it. Good form, pin them in. Let's work for it, I'm gonna look at you. I know, I need your motivation just as much as you need mine right now. You guys showing up to do this workout with me is really freaking motivating. So we're all in this together. It's not easy, I just commit to do it and I finish it. So that's what you're gonna do right now. 20. Get those shoulders down, elbows up, 15. Hinge into it, flat back. Let's crush it, 10, 8, 6, 4, elbows up, don't you quit, 3, 2 more, 2, 1, oh my gosh, put those down. We're going to the mat. Last block is chest with a little leg sprinkled in to keep it full body. So meet me down on the mat. It's going to be a chest press, a classic chest press. Like so, wrist face the knees, elbows wide with a bridge. So we'll get a little work in those hammies. Okay, we're one minute on. Lay on your back. Feet are hips distance parallel. Rock those weights, elbows bent out to the side. Lift your butt up, squeeze your glutes. Now you're gonna press the weights up without letting your upper back leave the mat and then bend the elbows wide to the sides. Glutes are high and contracted. So you're not just holding your hips up here and hanging out. You're just holding an isometric squeeze in your glutes. So imagine you have a slip of paper between your tush and you're hugging it. Yep, just like that. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, this weight should feel pretty light for the chest. If you've been doing it for everything else and it was kind of like that medium place, this is probably more like a light weight for the chest, but do not worry, we'll burn it out. Sometimes that first round is like, oh, that's not too bad, and by the third one you're like, oh yeah, the weight I picked was just right. Good job, guys. We're here 15 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Weights up, bring your wrists together. Push the weights into each other. Walk your feet closer together. Bring your right leg to tabletop. Keep your hips lifted. Bend your elbows nice and narrow by your sides and then press the weights up. We have 30 seconds each leg. Keep your elbows narrow and the front of your chest open. Modify by placing both feet on the floor or using one weight. Then drive that left heel into the mat and squeeze that left glute. You're here 10 seconds until we switch. In five, four, three, two, and one. Right foot down, left leg up. We have 30 seconds of that chest press and the static hold in the right leg. Remember your modifications. If you need a further modify, just butt on the ground. Otherwise, squeeze that right tush, lift those hips up. You have 12. In eight. In five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Okay, one weight. Come over onto your left side. Elbow underneath shoulder, place the weight in the right hand, lift up through your bottom oblique, hydrants. You're gonna lift your leg up to hip height and down. Knee and toe should be in one line. I don't wanna see a foot or a knee higher. Okay, a little outer hip work. At the top range is when you pause and you squeeze. We're gonna progressively make this harder. So this is the first round, one minute each leg. I love hip work. It's just so fun. And this is like kind of our energy level at this point, right? It's good to be on the floor after almost an hour of moving. Okay, you got 10 seconds. Then we take it over to the other side. You're just gonna switch right into it. In five, four, three, two, one. Just started to burn there right at the end by that third round you know we'll be good. Okay, we're on the right form. 
Left hand, left thigh has the weight. Try not to hang out into it, lift it up. One minute. Okay, at the top I'm taking my time. I'm squeezing and engaging. Oh yeah, side two is always so much quicker to burn, I love it. Okay, we have 35 seconds. Then you're to the top. Chest press. How are we feeling, guys? You are so close to the end. Let's get that final burn. This is where it counts. Sometimes it's just mental. Sometimes the body still feels pretty good, but we're tired mentally. So hang on if that's you. Because you deserve it. You deserve to finish this workout. Okay, you have five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, lay on your back. Hips are up in that bridge. Feet are hips distance parallel. Elbows are wide. Booty lifts. Squeeze your glutes. We've got a chest press. Okay, one minute right here. Slow on the way down. Don't let gravity boss you around. Good. Tighten that tush. Halfway. 30 seconds. Make sure that collarbone doesn't close off at the top. When you straighten your arms, there should be still an opening in the front of the chest. Okay, 15 seconds. We take it to a narrow press and a single leg bridge. In five, four, three, Two, add one. Bring the weights together, narrow wrists, bring the feet together, and then bring that right leg up. We've got narrow everything. Your narrow elbows, press it to the ceiling. Now really try to drive that left foot into the mat. Keep your hips level, squeeze those weights. Halfway on this leg. In 10. And four, three, two, one. Switch the legs, don't drop those arms. Here we go, 30. Definitely feeling the chest work more this round, which I love. So we know round three is really gonna love, love it even more. Halfway. Ten. In five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down. Okay, we have our hydrants. This time we're just gonna add a weight. So you can just cross the weights, one on top of the other. This time I'm gonna lay all the way down. So I'm over on my left side, both weights resting on this right knee. Stick your butt back. We lift, we lower. Spot the weight with your hand. Good, try not to rest at the bottom and try not to go so high that your top hip rolls back. So look at that right hip. Don't let it move. Okay, we're here. 35 seconds. Pause, squeeze the outside of your butt at the top. Sun really just came out. I'm getting crushed. 15. In 10, in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're just gonna switch this up. So come to lay on your right side, stack the weights. We're gonna place them on the top of that left leg. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, so weights on the left leg, support your head, and here we go. Oh, I might need to restock this situation. Okay, now here we go. One minute. If you started, you'll get extra credit. <laughs> so keep going. <sighs> you guys, we're on to our last four minutes and 40 seconds. Woo! That's a full hour of strength training. That deserves a woo! Good work, good work. Squeeze left. Okay, 25, we're on our back. Hands 
Here we go for 10. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Definitely getting harder. Okay, chest press with the glute bridge. Last round, let's roll. Feet hips distance parallel, booty up, chest open. Let's pick the tempo up of the arms this round. One minute fast, not flailing, quicker, no momentum. Tight tush, drive those heels into the mat. 30 seconds. Beautiful. Push it, push it, 20. Final 10. In four, three, two, one. Arms up, bring the weights together. Feet come closer. Left foot down, right leg tabletop. Narrow press. Quick for 30. 20. 10. Hips up, don't let them drop. Switch those feet out. 30 on the right leg. Crush it. Squeeze those weights. That's going to help contract your chest muscles. 20. 15. 10. The hips up. And we have five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Okay, let's finish that leg work. We're gonna use just one dumbbell. We're on our left forearm, weight in the right hand, arch your back, lift your waist. Lift your leg up halfway, little lifts. Pulse it out, one minute. Good, so remember, it's not just from the movement, it's also from you contracting. 20 down, 40 to go. Okay, last 30 seconds, pick it up, 30. Don't let the rest of your body move just because we're going quicker. 25. Good, 20. 15. 10. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay, swap it out. Let's finish it. Last move, last minute. 30 seconds slow, 30 seconds a little quicker. So we are pulsing, slow controlled, abs in and up, open heart. Make sure those hips are stacked. Oh yeah, side two is so much more intense. <laughs> Okay, you got 10 seconds. We pick that pace up for 30. Are you ready? Here we go, pick it up, 30. Don't you drop. Fast and fast without movement of the lower leg or the torso. 20. Up and up. Level heel and foot. You ready to crush this? We have 15. This is your last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! Glutes! Okay. How are you feeling? I am feeling like a sweaty, sculpted mess. I don't know if there's a single thing we didn't hit. High fives all around. One hour. Wow. And I love that my heart rate is in cardio. It's so interesting, right? You don't have to do necessarily cardio movements to get that heart rate up. Slow controlled can be just as effective. Anyways, let's stretch. Right foot on the floor, left ankle crosses open, over, lift that chest up. So I'm making kind of like a little window between my legs. If your back is really rounded, I want you to lift up. If you can't lift up, lean further back. So you can lengthen out, Whew. switch it out. Left foot plants, right ankle over, and then lift your heart. That's gonna get that hip stretch. We just work those hips. Good, release, okay. That upper body 
the knees to be loosened up. Interlace your fingers, push your palms forward, round out your back. Rock your head right and left. Good, sit up tall, sweep the arms behind the back. Clasp the fingers, bring the elbows and shoulders together, and lift your heart. Look over to the left and then down toward your left thigh. Actively push your chin into your chest. Bring it up, look over to the right, push your chin down toward your chest, look towards that right thigh. Good, release. Okay, bring it on up to standing for me. Let's take some side bends, open up those lats. Feet hips distance, interlace your fingers, stretch it up. Keep your hips still, side stretch over to the right. Find length through center, side stretch over to the left. One more each way. Reach and lengthen and return. Last one, reach and lengthen and return. Tricep, right elbow points forward, palm to the back, press that right elbow down, lift your head up. Woo! Release, left arm up, palm in, bring the hand to the back, press the elbow and arm bone down, lift your head up. Okay, let's hit those quads. Right hand to the right thigh, left hand to a chair or wall if you need to balance. Pull up through your belly, grow tall here. Release, left hand, left ankle. Pull it in, lift up through that belly. Release. You guys just did an hour of weights. I am so proud of you. Let me know what was hard for you. Let me know what was easy, what was challenging or interesting. I hope you had an awesome workout. You're gonna have a great day. Those endorphins are rolling. Again, my name is Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. I'm here for you for all your fitness content. So please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you on the next workout.